Well, hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today I'm talking to you about three not so great exercises. I mean, one of them belongs in the trash heap. And then I have two other ones that are just not what we thought they were. They aren't as great as we thought they were. The number one that I'm going to go to, straight to the trash heap, that Smith Machine overhead press. Now, that Smith Machine overhead press, that thing is a problem. And here's why it's not better than doing dumbbell presses overhead, barbell presses overhead. The reason why is that those dumbbells and barbells, they travel in a nice natural curve. When you go up with them, they start off with your hand position right here in front of your face, in front of your chin. And at the top, your hand ends up directly over your head. Now that being the case, that's natural. That's the way it belongs. When we do a Smith machine, the problem becomes that Smith machine travels in a straight line. So if it's slightly in front of you, the bottom, it's going to be slightly in front of you at the top. Our bodies are not meant to work that way. I've done a complete video on why the Smith machine sucks overall, but in this case in particular, we're talking about that overhead press and why it's just trash. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so you can check out that other video where I went through all the details about the Smith machine. But that Smith machine, I'm throwing that thing in the trash heap. You want to have a nice long bodybuilding career, whether it's competitive on the stage or whether it's just looking good for the entirety of your life, the quickest way to end it, the quickest way is to do stupid exercises like the Smith machine overhead press. And if you do that, you're going to find you're going to end up with painful shoulders and never get the kind of delts that you want to get long term. So let's take that Smith machine and throw it in the garbage. Ah, let's chop it up first and then throw it in the garbage. That nobody can use the thing. We don't want to have somebody hurt themselves using it, pulling it out of the trash heap, okay? Or using it once they do pull it out of the trash. So that thing is just gone, cut up and gone. Secondly, the cable row is not better, safer than the bent over barbell row. Now, why do I say this? Look. The cable row and the barbell row both involve your torso being at a 90 degree angle to your legs, your thighs. Cable row, you're sitting upright like this with the cable going this way towards you. You're pulling the weight in with your back parallel to the resistance. Bent over barbell rows, you're like this with the legs down below. Again, the resistance is going directly against the force uh, or muscular contraction of your lower back. Either one, they're both the same position. If I take that cable row and I turn it this way, just like that, if I do that, now you see what you're doing, a bent over row. You're just sitting upright. So why is it then that the cable row seems safer than a bent over barbell row? And the answer is, is you'll never use as much weight in the cable row as you will in the bent over barbell row. And why is that? Because not only are you supporting your barbell when you do bent over rows, you're also supporting your own body weight, the top half of your body with your lower back muscles. So there's additional weight being put up against that lower back. So that explains part of it. The other part of it is ego lifting. The barbell row for years has just been abused left and right. Men especially get on that thing and just heave the weight up. And they're just asking for trouble. It's a setup for a problem for their lower back. So the cable row, while it seems like it would be safer, it's not really safer. We've beefed that one up and acted as if it is. You're technically lifting less weight. That's it for number two. Number three, that leg press versus your squat. I've done an entire video on why men especially, as they get older, need to continue to do squats. Most women will continue to do them, but the men in particular, their egos don't let them do that squat. And I've heard a lot of them say, if I hear one more time, I'm just going to throw something at them about how they don't squat anymore, but rather do the leg press, you know, because safety, for safety reasons. Now that's just dumb, because we, once you get on that leg press, your spine is in a C position like this with your head up here, forward like that, with a weight stack coming down on you, that big fly swatter coming down upon you. When your spine is in that C position, B 
being pressed up against a seat back that's not in a seat position. There's no support right there. It's pushing those discs and your vertebrae into the pad. It's dangerous at best. When you do a free weight barbell squat, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna have that bar, yeah, up on top of your spine, but you're gonna do that exercise with plenty of mindfulness. You're gonna be very, very particular about not letting yourself round forward for that reason and the fact that you'll bend your knees more when you do a squat versus the leg press every time. Why is that? Yeah, most men, they load up that leg press with stacks in place. It looks really, really bitchin'. The problem, they don't bend their knees as far as they do in a squat. It's just a fact. So, looks really good, but not really good. The leg press, while it can be a good exercise, and I'll put a link down below for the video that I did do on it where I showed exactly how you could do it and do it safely. While it can be a good exercise, it's not better than squats, safer than squats. Not by a long shot. So there you have it, all three of my selections for either cutting it up and putting it in the trash or just not better than and just not built up the way that it was in all these years and people suppose them to be. Now, if you're liking the videos that I'm running here, off to my left, you're about to see a disc pop up there. That is the subscribe button for my channel. Please give that thing a tap. And then down below, off to your left, you're gonna see a thumbs up right over there. Tap that thing till it turns blue. That thumbs up will let the YouTube algorithm know that you're liking my videos. It's really good, pumps up the channel. From my heart to you, I look forward to seeing you again. John Hart.